What's going on guys and girls, Alcoholic Phoenix here, and today we're back with some more Vice City stories. Now, we're going to go on and do some more Louise missions, because you know how we all love Louise. Hose the hose. Hey Louise, it's me. Vic, thank God you're here. I just heard your cat house is going up in flames. Are the girls oh, no. okay? Did Marty's inbred family do this? I'll be right down. Oh God. That's bad. Did you call the fire department? Don't worry. I know where we can get a fire truck. Okay. Well, that's a that's a good thing. I'm glad you know that. Well, let's go get a fire truck. Let's just go through this gap right here. Well, no. That seemed like a good idea. Just head through the gap. You know. Pull up in this fire truck. Now, in a real life situation, like. How, I don't think it would be so easy just to get out of the car and go into a fire truck without the police killing you or like arresting you and shit. Oh god, alright. It's always good when we have the cops on us too. Alright, let's quickly get here. Oh god, let's put, extinguish the flames. Man, this is bad. Oh god. Come on, fire, we need to get out. Well, it's too far. Too far, man. Too far. Oh god. Come on, that fire's got to be going out now. Yeah, we got it. Pro. That's Marty's cousin. He did it, Vic. Get him. Bastard's got six toes. On him. No one's gonna miss you. Oh. Nice and quick. More of this. Okay, that's that mission passed. I hear you've be you've got girl, don't spend all your money on her. You've got family obligations. What? Pay for everybody else's shit. Like pay for my friggin' my aunt. Give my aunt money in that, that's meant to be for my brother and stuff and that, that she goes and spends on herself. Yeah, right. You bitch. What a bitch of an aunt. You know, you go and have an aunt and that, and she goes and spends all your money. <coughs> Excuse me. That was unexpected. Ah, right, let's take another mission from Louise. Robbing... what? Robbing the cradle. Okay. Oh, rolling to Vic, welfare said I was a bad mother. Their man said he was going to take Mary Beth off me unless I put out for him. But I'll show him. I've got a couple of guys to take care of him. What? Killing him is going to make things worse. When's this happening? Well, kind of right now. Did I do wrong? How was I to know better? Is it just me or is it everybody in Vice City's life problem solved by killing somebody? Just... You know. Now I've got to go save the welfare man. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Louise, you, you need to figure out your stuff. You're getting, you're going and killing people in that that don't really deserve it. And they're threatening to take Mary Beth off you Somebody because you're help! fucked. Oh god. Alright, let's just quickly blow up this guy's car. Damn it! Get out of my way. I don't want the poor welfare man to die. He did no wrong. I love how every time I get close to them, they go to turn down a freaking corner. This guy's an idiot. He's gonna get himself killed because I can't get close to this guy to shoot at his car. Randy's gonna kill me. No shit, he's gonna kill you.
Oh god, the cop nearly got me. Get off. You for real, bro. Oh man. Warn the welfare man off. Alrighto then. Doesn't help when I have a two star wanted level. And my car's probably gonna blow up. <coughs> oh man, sneezing. Oh god! Alone, pal, or you and I are gonna become close friends. You, you ain't gonna catch me. me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Why am I continuously having the cops on my ass every single time? Oh, go away. I'm gonna warn this damn welfare man off. Rip it around. I hate Vice City cops. They are the worst cops in any freaking GTA. Oh, fuck off then. How stupid can you get? You were getting shot at earlier and you're still fucking, you know, driving around like a spaz. Why must I kill people? I might as well blow his car up, because it's getting to. Okay, okay! She's white trash anyway! Alright, see you later. Fuck this. I'm out of here. Mm. Louise. Vic, I just wanted to say thanks. Don't be a stranger. But you're weird! So weird. Honestly. Uh now I'm gonna get a new car. Be a good idea. But um I'm trying to think. Should we take missions from Lance or Umberto? Umberto people might remember from Vice City Stories. The uh I think he's Mexican. The big Mexican guy in that who has a, f a fascination for big cojones and balls and, you know, just, just testicles and penis in general, I guess. Seems a bit gay to me. Let's go talk to him. Even his thing is called Nice Package. <laughs> hey, you Umberto? Did somebody order a stripper? Excuse me? Because I like my bitches a bit less balding. What? Are you a comedian, Frank? <laughs> hmm? No. No. <laughs> I'm a man, just like you. Uh-huh. Umberto Rubina. You must be Vance. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So you heard about Marty? Yeah. I heard about that dumb punk. Came to an unfortunate end, huh? <laughs> bitch fight. I like that, huh? Two bitches going at it hot and sweaty. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, whatever you're into, man. Hey, I'm into men. Men proving themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds fun. Look, you worked for Marty for years. So in between men, can I rely on you? Sure, puppy. <laughs> if you can prove to me you got some balls. I've got a package waiting for collections downtown. Go get it for me if you can. I'm not your delivery man, friend. Until I know you got some balls and some juice in them, there'll be no alliance between us. Juan will go with you. He'll tell me if you've got something down there. Nice. You're not the only one after the package. I didn't read the rest, but I think I've got to beat these early guys to the package. It should be easy enough if I learn how to drive. Oh damn it, really? Really? Oh. Damn. This could screw me over. Now, that's a little known 
just a little known tip in Vice City. Now, if you have the camera pointed away from you, not pointing to the traffic, a lot of the time the traffic won't spawn because it can't see in front of you. So no traffic spawns. Just a nice little oh, secret. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I think I've taken the longest route. I think they all took the highway. Just saying. So I probably better jump on that. Yep, there they are. What? Hilberto has the package taken down. Shit! Oh god, this car actually has really good handling. I should not be using my handbrake, I should just use the normal brake. Uh, where is he going? Is he going onto the highway? Probably is, damn it. Of course he is. Oh god, I'm gonna get myself stuck. Oh! Chopper. Dead. Man, I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, damn. I think he's gonna take the package all the way back. I don't think I can get to him. That sucks. No, he's going down this way because this guy's here. There we go. On the highway. Oh god. He's right there. Man, I need to get this package. Look at them all. Fuck, he's getting close too. Get the package, get the package, get the package. You must be on PCP. I need to get in the car, man. Let me in the car. Oh my god, this is silly. Oh god, oh god, oh god, run! Drive. Oh man, now I've got cops after me. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. I think we're safe. You know, I should just be able to do this and I should have no traffic spawn in front of me. Oh god. Woo! That could have been bad. So we're taking the package down to the docks and hello cop car, how you doing? See you one of them. I'm the law. Apparently he's the law. Gracias, Vic. <laughs> I kiss you. Whoa, not today. Like I said, Umberto's a bit weird. As you can probably tell. And there's just cops around me. Empire Day earnings, 800 bucks. Has one of my empires been attacked? Because I remember earning $1,000 last time. Hmm. Interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to park this in here. So it gets all repaired, I'm going to go save my game. Seems like a plan. Alright. Yep. Oop. There we go. Alright. That seems pretty good. Now we can go and collect this nice, refreshing, beautiful car. This car is actually one of the best in the game, in my opinion. It's a Cuban... Hermes? Hermes? Something? Now, do we want to take another Umberto mission, or do we want to try a Lance mission? I think we'll try the Lance missions the next episode. We'll take one more Umberto mission. A weird name, Umberto. I haven't heard that really before. Drive up here. Oops. I'm sorry. Now, have you noticed any traffic that's already previously spawned will stay spawned when you look back, but no new traffic will spawn. That's the way it works. Damn, I'm just going in a giant loop here. Let's 
just cut through here, and then go up here. There we go. Oh god, there's a couple. Oh. Let's get out of the car. It's got a nice. Um, I'm just gonna back that up just in case my car happens to interfere with that one. Because GTA games can be a little bit weird sometimes, and that could possibly happen. You got some Cuban in you? <laughs> you look like you got some Cuban in you, lady. Uh, no. I'm from Ohio. Oh. You're a little bit off, Humberto. <laughs> you want some Cuban in you, lady? No. Like I told you, I'm a lesbian on a committed journey with my life partner. Now, Mr. Rubina, about your father's welfare claim. Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> Vic, I tell you, this bitch is crazy for me. Can you smell it? Yeah, it's going wild. <laughs> Always the same. Listen, we got a problem, What's huh? What's the problem? Your boy Jerry. He's causing all sorts of trouble. Martinez? God damn it. Uh, Mr. Rubina, must I remind you I am a very busy woman? Hey, baby. <laughs> Mira, listen. <laughs> you keep your panties on, okay? I got some serious man shit to deal with with my body. <laughs> Why don't you just sit down? Stay pretty. Don't worry, huh? I'll be back with some serious chorizo. Uh, you got a friend for my buddy? <sighs> He's a little bit shy. Oh, my. Uh, whatever. Vic, let's roll! He definitely doesn't understand that she's a, she's a lesbian with a committed and a committed journey with her life partner. Show these boys how to be men and take back our streets from these bitch cholos. I have my own bitch to deal with inside. You're not coming? I will be soon, but not with you, my friend. <laughs> I'm hot, baby. Ha, ah, Humberto. Take care of the Cholo's thugs before they cause too much havoc in Little Havana. Alright. Oh, I didn't realise those guys were coming with us. Oh, shit. Okay, apparently now he is not... Part of the car, right? Okay, now he is. I don't give a shit. Damn it! Oh my god! Then why? How come when I go over to him, he's like, "Oh, derp! I'm not getting in your car." Like honestly, what I'm talking about GTA being glitchy. Oh, I need to get a car. Fuck! I'm an idiot. Get in the car. Both of you douchebags, get in the damn car. Now I'm probably going to fail this mission. Dicks. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, sweet. That was very unexpected. Payday. Empire earnings, da da da. I've got no weapons. Man, $2,000 bribe to get my weapons back. Ooh, I don't know about that. I think that's a little bit pricey. That's just a little bit pricey. I mean, I can go up here uh, uh, and come through here. I can get myself an Uzi. On the way there, <clears throat> we'll just go through here. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just stick with just this Uzi. That should do me okay for this mission. Okay, let's just get out of the car. Alright, now that I know that there's a four person car right across the road and bullshit, da 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 da. Let's just skip all the cutscenes. Okay, I know. Show these boys, serious coroners, all that stuff, la da 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 da. Okay. Now, both of you get in my car, be swiftly and quickly about it. I'm not leaving my knees behind this time. Okay. Now we can go stop them from causing havoc. And let's try and not get busted by the police this time, because I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, that's done. Didn't really cause much havoc in that little tiny stint today. Okay, just go up here, cut through here. 
I would to get out and pick up the body armor, but I don't really think I need to get out of the car at all this time, I hope. Cholo hoods are causing trouble. Okay. Well, let's go stop them. Where are they going? Alright, oh, they just stuck around this bin. Oh, terrible handle. It's just completely good. Splat. Splat. Deal with the Cholo troublemakers. How many are there, man? Honestly. Seems to be a lot of cholos that are pissed off at the world. Honestly. Oh, you dick. You just cut right in front of me. Nearly just blew up some innocent's car for no reason at all. them taken care of. Let's head off to the next set of Cholos. I wonder actually how many there are until the mission's over. Yep. That's it. That guy was just kind of standing there, not knowing what was going on as he's getting shot at. Sweet. Mission passed. With flying colours. Good, good, good. Brilliant. Alright guys, well that's going to end up the episode. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and girls enjoyed it, and have a very lovely day. Alright, peace.